Mark, with, with all these days, at, at what point do you start to turn your attention to Minnesota and, and you know, how do you balance that versus being focused on yourselves? Uh, I mean, these are valuable practice days and we don't get four straight days of practice again for the rest of the year. So a lot of it's season prep and then we'll get into some Minnesota <clears throat> a little bit tomorrow and then a little bit on game day, which is our normal flow anyways. Um, but if we get the practices right, it'll help prepare us not only for Minnesota, but for the 82. Yeah. J-Dub said yesterday, a lot of this just gets taken care of by playing hard. I mean, how good is it to hear a rookie kind of speaking in those terms that, you know, a lot of that stuff can, can come out in the wash that way? Yeah, I mean, most nights, you know, it's going to come down to our execution of our system. Are we competing together? Um, and that takes you, you know, into the red zone. And then, you know, the scouting stuff and preparing for your opponents is obviously important, but um, it doesn't matter if you don't do that stuff well. And so that's what our focus is. Your just initial thoughts on Isaiah Joe and um, getting him into the program? Uh, excited. He's a really nice guy. Uh, I never met him until yesterday, but he's a guy that our scouts and our people have liked for some time. He obviously has a elite skill, and he's also on the timeline of the team, you know, so. Obviously, we've got a lot of players that are in the same stage, and we believe in the power of them going through these experiences together and building together and creating continuity together. We've seen the power of that even in a small sample size um, this year over the summer, and um, he's another guy that we can add to that fray, and we're excited about it. What was the biggest thing that you were able to take out of just the, the, the preseason that you hope will transfer over into the regular season? Uh, the approach of the team, I think for an inexperienced team, it really, really competitive. They are guys that get it. Um, and the approach has been great to practices, film sessions, individual work. Um, and it's really hard to sustain because there's 82 games. It's a grind. It's six months, which is a long period of time. And there's a lot of ups and downs. Um, but I thought the team did a great job of it last year. And I think um, we kept that momentum going into the preseason, and if we just did one thing, if you just told me we attacked every day the way we've attacked it to this point, then we'll continue to improve, which is ultimately what we're trying to get done. It's kind of crazy that Jay Will and Isaiah were high school teammates, and yeah. Fort Smith, not too far from here. Um, I just wanted to know, have you guys like talked about that at all, or just what you thought of that connection? Uh, I, talk, I uh, saw, I was with Isaiah yesterday, and Jay Will was in the hallway, and I was like, you guys lose a game? I mean, they had two NBA players on a high school team, and they're like, we're lost in the state championship. Um, so it was a sore subject. Uh, but they, they like each other. Uh, good guys. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool for them, obviously. It's crazy. Any change today from yesterday on player availability? Anything no, like we that? went hard yesterday, and so today we went hard the last two days. Today was very light. It was a little bit of skill and a lot of film. Uh, and we'll have a punchy little practice tomorrow before we go, but um, guys seem to be feeling pretty good. Are you expecting to play Isaiah? These first couple of games are going to slow play it. Um, I mean, we have 17 guys. They're all going to get out there through the 82. Um, we have to take looks at these guys. So that's definitely going to happen. But you also can't play 17 guys early. Um, the bigger thing for him is just to get integrated, um, learn what's going on, learn the program, not skip steps. Um, but you can get pretty caught up pretty quickly, especially since he's got other NBA experiences. So um, we'll see how he integrates and go from there. But, you know, we haven't seen him very much yet.